Day 339. We're still locked in the tower. They've sealed off all the windows. They just keep wanting us to build and build. All we have left to eat is a carrot, four poisonous potatoes, and a bucket of water. We call it water, but let's just say we've had to do a bit of recycling. And we're still not done with the tower. Oh, hey, uh, welcome to Davetopia. I'm almost finished with the structure of the tower, so I wanted to give everyone a quick update on it. And so here we go. Uh, we'll head on up the rail, switch to the ladders, and keep going up. Yeah, so let's say we're pretty high up. How high? Well, this platform is at level 240, and the tips of the spikes are at the world height of 256 blocks. Not only is the ground hard to say, see, but we're way above cloud level. I normally never render clouds, but here I'll turn them on so you can see how high above them we are. Take a bit of a look around, and I'll turn those buggers back off. I'm not going to jump all the way down. Uh, and at least not in one go. I'll save that stunt for when the tower is completely finished. But with feather falling and my water drops, it's not too long of a trip down. Now, I'm not going to spend much time on it, on it, but I have a bit of a quandary with the area under my tower. I went with a black-white checkerboard carpet, uh, but the room is so large it makes it look like it has a shimmering effect. So I'm debating switching it all to one color. What are your thoughts? Should I go all white, all black, or just leave it as it is? Anyway, um... Skip past that topic, and we'll head on out and up, and have a gander at the tower from a few different angles. And I tell you, it's really nice having this completely finished, as it's been a long and challenging project. I should say almost completely finished, and since there's a little bit left to do at the top. Um, it's been pretty challenging to do this, especially on survival. I'm pretty satisfied overall with how it's turned out. There are a few cosmetic changes I'm going to make over time to get it looking better, but I'm happy either way. Eventually, I want to get the inside of it a little bit more finished, but I think I'm going to try to work on my massive underground rail system before I do much more in the tower. So we'll head up and over, and go through the ghost town over there for another angle, and start heading toward the staircase. All those poor villagers who gave their lives for the cause, and are now entombed in various parts of the tower. That's what you're supposed to do with your slaves, right? So when the tower's finished, I'm probably going to make a backup copy of my game save, uh, switch, it, switch one of the copies over to creative, and then make a video with that so that I could actually fly around and show you the tower. It's, it's really a bit hard to show off all the details in survival, just because some of me can't really see from ground level. So let's head back down the vines and take a look at the library. Uh, now this room took about 30 stacks of bookcases, and while the shelves are basically finished, at least for this level, uh, I still want to add a chandelier and probably a second level to this room. I've already designed the chandelier in my creative world, but building it in survival? Let's just say I'm probably going to wait on that. Anyhow, I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, that's a quick tour of the progress of the tower, and I hope you'll pop back in later as, to see as I wrap it up and get back to some other fun projects. As always, feel free to leave a comment or check out agentsofgame.com to see the other things we have going on. Have a good one.